You know, this is one of those games where I'm glad I played it, but I kind of wish I didn't play it. But it's scary season right now here on the channel, and uh, we need the appropriate attire. So <laughs> now we're ready. OK, we got the full horror gameplay attire on. You got to play the horror with the hoodie on. It keeps you warm, cuddled and uh, composed, if you will. So I just wanted to thank you all for supporting this game on the first episode that we did what i really seem to be enjoying about this game so far is that it's very very story driven and that to me is a plus that's why i loved resident evil 7 so much all we know is that we're playing as two separate characters two individual characters within two separate times right now in this current time of the present day nothing creepy has really happened i'd have to say the creepiest thing that's happened to us in present day is finding the diary in the second floor attic which upon us opening it we were dragged into this other time about a couple hundred years before this or about a hundred years before give or take and that's where everything really really started kind of coming alive it was a guy that lived in this house many years ago even before our parents or grandparents and well he got murdered i'd also be lying if i told you i knew what type of thing or what exactly murdered him because in reality i don't know what the hell that was but it definitely was some sort of ghost or multiple ghosts, some devil entity. And now here we are. The only thing that intrigues me at this point is that we know that a week or two from now, this character that we're playing as will die. So what is going to happen between be, between now? I can't even speak right now. What's going to happen between now and that time? <laughs> I'm intrigued. So as always, my name is Hollow. And Welcome back to the beast inside. Game play, play, play. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and open the door. I also like how I've been playing these horror games because they force me to play PC, and that way I get better on playing PC. Um, I know it's something just a random thought, but I, I'm really happy. Now, this door right here, this is the door where that freaky dude came out of and killed my man, Nicholas. I think his name was Nicholas. You know, that other guy. So I'm just going to make sure there's nothing here. I don't even know where Emma is. Right now, we're supposed to be looking for our wife, Emma. There's a letter here. The Simons and Sons Moving Service. I paid those bastards in advance. So, of course, they didn't even bother to take those boxes to the attic. You can't trust anyone these days very true very very true indeed so it seems like everything is locked i'm actually gonna go downstairs now that we kind of know the layout of this house i think it's a little bit creepier considering that now we know where everything's happened honey you won't believe what i found it hey emma can you hear me emma <laughs> listen man it's too early for this shit we just started okay emma stop playing games with me i was calling you before but you wouldn't even answer where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this Emma power is out, good. by the way. <laughs> Diary. W what? The power is out? A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Hey, hey, calm down there, Emma. With two M's. Don't be talking to me like that. I'm your husband, damn it. Put some respect on my name. All right, let's let's if I remember correctly, go to the basement. The basement was over here. I don't like how What's I her problem. She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. <laughs> Yo, hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can find a flashlight or something. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, is there a flashlight around here? Come on. What is this? Let me let me read this letter from mom. A mom spent her childhood here. But she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. I cannot imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. This house belonged to our family for many decades. So maybe this was actually one of his ancestors. Some even called it the Stevenson's Refuge. When me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought your grandpa was going to sell it as he said he would. Well, he didn't. Surprisingly, he left it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here, raise your kids, and simply enjoy life Far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. I can't even imagine a better place to settle. Why does this sound like a setup, man? Like, mom, what the fuck? Take good care of Emma. 
We'll visit you sometime next month if my aching hip allows that. P.S. Dad thinks he should be the one to come up with a name for your son or daughter. I have no idea why he's insisting on that. Maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyway, act surprised when he mentions it to you. Mom, that's if we make it past a week from this house, okay? That's that's if we make it past that. Let me see. I'm going to examine this. I've already examined this. All right, Mom, I'm going into the flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Well, that's exactly what I was looking for. And I didn't find one, but I guess it was in the attic. Okay, so we're going to get a flashlight just because... I love how fast he move up. Did you see this man go up the stairs? Dude, this is... <laughs> what? This is Olympic level stair climbing right here. Oh, look at this flashlight. Okay, I will take that. All right. Check the fuse box in the basement. Okay, how do I... How do I turn on the flashlight? Okay, hold on. Flashlight. Hmm. Rotate. It's not new, but it should do. It's got a very powerful bulb. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Huh. It's just a pony. But we know what's happened down here in the attic, man. Okay, I don't like this shit. Okay, now we're down here. It kind of feels like it's not even daytime outside. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. Oh, you have no idea what's about to haunt you, man. I've been down here. Trust me. It's not a pretty sight. Gotta go ahead and look for the fuse. Let's see if we can find the fuse here. There's a lantern. Where are the fuses? Maybe, uh, ooh, here we go. Perfect. That's a brick wall. That's actually quite strange. Okay, so we're looking for strange. a Strange one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Yeah, what the hell, dude? Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Okay, let's go outside and go to the shed. Uh, I have a feeling something is probably going to pop out at me. And if something pops out at me right now, I swear to God... Okay, we're good. Why is the music playing like this? Okay, we're good. Okay. Where's the shit? I thought there was going to be some sort of jump scare, but so far, we're pretty good. So far, <laughs> everything's A-OK, -okay, guys. Everything is just fine. Is that the shed? This is actually so open world is insane. But that's not the shed, is it? Wait, why is that blocked? What the hell? Is that blood? That was blood on the fence. And now there seems to be a different... Ah, oh, this is the same shit, actually. Just a different way to enter it, isn't it? Or is this a different one? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, my God. Why is there, like, fresh blood prints? What is going on here? No fuses here, of course. What the f Oh shit. What is this? Where did all the blood come from? Throw? Yeah, what's going on here? And whose jacket is that? Let me Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? A quantum localizer allows an in-depth analysis of kinetic energy preserved in so-called quantum traces, enabling the user to identify silhouettes of people or other living organisms whose past presence in a given fragment of the space-time continuum has left behind a detectable clusters of waves and particles. Ooh, a quantum localizer. It's actually, what? It's here. It can detect and analyze a so-called quantum traces, which enables us to see short flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise location and activities. I've never had a chance to use it in the field, but we're ordered to carry one just in case. I'd much rather get a gun than 
another oddity from eggheads in the CIA. Okay, so this is a thing that we can actually use. Okay, let's use the quantum localizer. Out of all the weapons, this is the weapon that I've got. Okay, what else do we have in here? We came for a fuse and we. Ah! Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? God Honey? Fucking Emma, open that shit! Dude, this game's gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Something's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Press X to equip unequipped device. Localized allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. Okay, so find a quantum cloud using the localizer screen indicators. The distance from the clouds is counted in the percentages and the green lines around the indicated direction of where the cloud is located. Okay. All right, let's go around. God damn it, dude! I I kind of I kind of was expecting that. I should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. I kind of expected that, right? But it didn't at the same time. I don't this know, is man. The place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. Ooh. Signal must be. Oh, scanning quantum cloud. Use the device to scan the cloud. Okay. Coming from this place. Now I just have to use the scanner on this cloud. Ooh, the oh, quantum found scanner. Something. Oh, what the hell? Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here, all covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. What? It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. Yo, this game is so sick, dude. Find the quantum cloud. The fuse is missing. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. The voice acting is so good in this game. I think somebody said that some of the voice actors in this game were part of Resident Evil 7, like Adam. Yeah, let's go down below. Oh my god. Oh god, it's fucking beeping down here in the basement. It would be beeping in the basement. Oh god. What is this? I bet it's chiming has startled many people. Okay, it's beeping in the basement. Doors are locked. Thankfully, we cannot. Okay, how about upstairs? Where is M? Where is Emma? Okay, I'm gonna keep going upstairs. Hello, honey, are you here? Uh, and there's nothing here. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible. Otherwise, I won't see a thing. Right here. Okay. We found it. So somebody's sitting here at some point. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Okay, so due to the to the nature, clouds can be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you have to destroy them all, find the anomalies in your surrounding. You can make it easier by using right click mouse button. What the hell is this, bro? To destroy an, anom an anomaly, hit it with an EMP charge fired from your device. Hold the left button. Um, the highlighted areas around the localizer screen indicate number of anomalies destroyed. Okay, so now there's the anomaly. There it is. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a beam. Okay, can I? Hold on. Let me see if I can go around here. Oh, it's right there. That should do it. 
Perfect. Let's stabilize the cloud. Stabilize the quantum cloud. I don't even know what the hell this scientific shit is going on here, but uh, after destroying all the anomalies, return to the quantum cloud. What is even going on here? What sort of fucking dexterous laboratory shit is this? All right. So now that we've Legit. destroyed them, we're here. Clearly, someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. Interesting. With this, I can reach much further than my hands can. Very useful in the field. Oh, wow. All right, now we can go this way. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud has been here. Yo, this game is something completely different that I, that, than I was expecting. This is getting really, really interesting. I don't know if you've noticed, but our wife is missing and now we're going into the wilderness. Like, we're not even in our house anymore. Maybe I can reach this with the rope. Scan this. There we go. We must have went up from here. And there's another shed back there. Ooh. Very nice. Look at the mechanics, baby. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out again. I've got a weapon with me, and I am not. So much blood, and it's not even dry yet. I have never happened here. It hasn't been long. I am not. Try to through that gate. I'll go check it out. Scared to use it. Well, if you really start thinking about this, buddy, old pal, this fresh blood probably belongs to your wife. Scan this. That's a huge puddle of blood. Drag something heavy through that gate. Damn, the gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. Okay, let's go around here then. Hmm. This is getting really, really interesting. Okay, maybe we can sneak in through here. Some planks are loose. I'll try to break them out. Okay, can I pull them? Out? Oh God! Hi. All right. Made a little bit too much noise there. Can I? What the hell? Can you just break the fucking plank? All right. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now we can go in here. This game has taken a crazy turn of events. Like this is something completely unexpected right now. The fact that we're out here in the forest. This is actually pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if you expect me to go over there on that lake, but I don't think I'm going there anytime soon, okay? Just gonna keep on searching over here. Go down the trail. Another stain of blood. The blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. <laughs> this dude is still lost. Look at this fucking cabin. Oh my god. I don't... This is exactly where he and his wife died, probably, at the beginning of the story. I'm more intrigued of the story that's being told than anything else, even more than the jump scares. Like, it's got me intrigued. Damn it! Closed. Just closed. I mean, you are in the middle of nowhere. You could just break that. You know that, right? I mean, I don't think anybody will tell you otherwise. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. What is that? Is... I better check what the localizers detected before I go in. How do I get in there? See if I can go back, back around here. Maybe find a way inside. Or is this where we came from? Oh, shit. Oh, <gasps> can we climb this? Wait a second. Oh, my God, dude, this game is super complex. Like to the point where I was not expecting this. Look at this. We, we went around the freaking barn. This reminds me so much of Resident Evil 7. It's not even funny right now. 
you know what creeps me out that you're always constantly looking at this little gadget as opposed to what's really in front of you so they can probably use that very well oh Is that it? I've already shot this one, but there's a bunch more. Oh, this is trippy, dude. Ninety-two percent. Is this the last one? <gasps> oh. Who is he? There we go. Right here. Oh, what the hell is that? A hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Well, we can use the hunting knife to open this up now. So I'll go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. Dude, that's crazy how you have to move your mouse like to cut that. That's crazy. Okay, there's also try to get inside. Maybe through here. Now that we have the hunting knife, we can probably use this. Cut it away. There we go. Oh, yeah. Slice and dice, baby. Like absolute pros. All right. We're in here now. Oh, we just got to be careful with what the hell is going on. Okay. I think we should be able to go inside the barn. Somewhere around here. Maybe through here. This is locked. How do we... Something tells me we might. Oh, look at that. Perfect. All right, hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hang it. There we go. Drag it down. Nice. All right. Now we can just climb and go through the roof. Oh, look at this. This game is a whole lot, like I've said, it's much more complex than I thought originally. And I appreciate it. And I don't know why, but I don't think there's that. Oh, there it is. It's a fucking deer, dude. What are you scared about, man? It's a damn deer. God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher. Okay, well, maybe the like fucking sadistic hunter. Yeah, maybe this is a little weird. Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from... The inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. Okay. Um. Let's bring down this ladder. I hope that's not some sort of like ticking bomb or something. Okay. Now I got, I'm gonna have to make a little bit of a sprint here. Okay. Uh. Okay. Maybe I gotta get a box of some sort. Move something there so I can climb on top of the ladder. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Maybe this. What is this? Ooh, nice. I'm gonna be able to use this to break the, uh, to break the chains. Okay, I'm trying to climb on this shit. It won't let me. Um... Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. This might be it. What if I move these logs? And then I can use the bolt cutters to cut this. Here we go. Use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so this game is not just as simple as, you know, opening a door and and, and that's it. No, you there's there's things that have to be done beforehand. You've got to have some sort of brain. Luckily for us, uh, the little bit of brain I have left is enough for us to be able to do this. Okay, I'm going to move this away. I mean, just take a look at how, <laughs> how stupid this is right now. God damn it. I appreciate it, though. I really do. Let's see if I can move this log. Okay, I think that should be enough space for us to bring this over. All right. It's just a deer. Just got to keep in mind that it's only a deer. All right. Now we can climb. And now we can probably cut this. How convenient, right? 
It's already kind of sort of cut down just for us to come in here and chop it with ease. How convenient. That sounds like a ticking bomb, bro. I wouldn't even touch that. Oh, that's disgusting. Ugh. Oh, this is sick. Oh. I think I'm gonna puke. Oh, that must feel so weird, dude. Yeah, get all up in there. Get all up in there, buddy. Yep. There you go. You got it. Are you kidding me right now? Is that the fuse? What's all this equipment? <sighs> and why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there is the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got the goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. <laughs> go to the basement. Like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. By the way, we didn't open this door, did we? I don't think we did. So what the hell, man? Who's playing mind games with me, huh? Think this is funny? I will let you know that I am part of the CIA and I will have my best man investigate this crisis. Effective, immediate. Lee. I remember back in the day some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. But I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. But clearly the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. Dude, this is so creepy. The fact that the guy won, whoever it is, whoever those people were, the guys that are haunting this place. First of all, we have to find out why they're in this house and why they're haunting it. There's got to be some sort of background history. But it's kind of crazy to the extent that they went to scare us. Or to do whatever the hell they're trying to do, which is scare us. Uh, took a fuse out from here. Went all the way and put it inside a deer. What the hell is that? Hi. I'm just going to put the fuse here. Everything's going to be okay. No idea how we didn't see them. I Power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it going to be like by the ninth? <laughs> Bro, stop it. You need to relax and respect Emma. I'm actually scared shitless right now. I don't know why this light is not on. I'm just going to keep talking. Keep talking. Oh, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> Jesus, woman. You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. That's the guy's actually, fucking hat. Put that shit down, woman. It? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. If it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. <laughs> Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? You're messing around with the wrong hat right there, lady. Sometime later. <laughs> oh, God. Box full of cash. We're balling. Okay. Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Kasu. Uh, you've that done it plenty of times app. already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. Let me see if we find some anomalies in here. Let me see. Do we have any anomalies up in that little behind? No, okay, I'm sorry. Paint the wall. Give me, give me the damn... Just give me that. Give me the paint roller. Let a man do its work. Let me show you how it's done. Paint the wall. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? No. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. <laughs> Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, crypt analysis? 
I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. It's actually Some painted faster than doing this. Spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone. Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? Hmm, <laughs> right. I wouldn't trust anyone in this house right now. What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Oh, God. Lady, can I just please finish painting this wall, please? Okay, let's move the damn furniture because my three-month-old pregnant wife wants me to move furniture to probably find some hidden fucking sorcery. Oh, hell no. Oh, God. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. Okay, okay. You guys are I making fun of him. Basement. <laughs> the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. <laughs> this is not a good idea here, pal. You know, this is actually a cold-blooded killer. A few days later. Oh, God. I am really intrigued by this story. It is so compelling. Somebody's calling. All right. Who's that on the wall? Modern day Jesus. It's pretty handsome. That is actually a very, very sexy man on that painting. So I would assume, obviously, after we put the painting in the basement, nothing really happens. Which is obviously expected, you know. Oh, look at our house. Wow. This is beautiful. This is going to be a bad call. I feel Hello. it. It's David. So this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I better call him. Because <laughs> you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. You're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck, on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. Hmm. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. Okay. Thanks, David. And there goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. Okay, back to the office we go. Where's our office? I don't even think I know exactly where our office is. It's not the office. This is the t dining table. Office. Where's the office? Where's the office? Maybe through here? There we go. Okay. This is definitely the office. And this is a room that we weren't able to access previously. Okay, let me just see if we find anything new in here. Jesus points at... The gate of hell? I don't get it. I don't think I want to. Okay. There's gotta be something here. This is such a nicely like done game. Like just the aesthetics of the of the world is so awesome. Oh, what is this? Oh, Sip on that Emma coffee. Knows how to get me on my feet. Yes. Now we've got to solve another so puzzle here. Do it again. First, let's take a look at the manual. So follow Enigma's ex instructions. All right. So please follow the instructions below. Uh, open the cover and place the cylinders. Easy. Okay. Open the covers and place the cylinders. 
For starters, I need to open the top cover. Okay. Get inside, I need to open the top cover. For starters, I need to open the top cover. Okay, so there we go. I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. Okay, so B. Uh, number. Let me see if I can place the cylinders marked with Roman numerals in the right position. So slots two, position one, slots position two. Okay, three and four. Okay, we got that one. Position one, position two is four. Roman numeral four. Roman numeral four. Okay. Roman numeral five and then eight. Okay, five, which would be this one. And then eight, which would be this one. Right? And then we have set numbers in the windows to the following position from left to right. 214, 622. 214, 6. Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. 14. 6. 22. Piece of cake. All right. Now for the last step, the wires at the bottom. All right. So open the bottom drawer in the device. Plug the wires in the drawer in the following configuration. AFGZRT. AFGZRT. Right. Now I just have to plug that in using the right order. A. F. G, Z, where is a Z, a Z, R, T. That's it. Perfect. Now I just need to enter the password. All right, so what's the password? BPF loop, BPF loop, BPF loop, BPF loop. B. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. BPF B P F loop. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's crazy, bro. All right, so what do we have here? What's this? It looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination, I'll be able to decipher it. Now, how do I set it up? With the right combination. 5VO3ST. VO3ST. VO3. Six. Number, number 17 looks. Okay. Rotor offset a 0519031010. S T G Z X O. Okay, so I am this puzzle is crazy. So the rotor offset would be one. Okay, so the rotors would be one four seven five one four seven five one four seven five. One, four, seven, five. Where's five? Okay. So now if I look here, zero five nineteen oh three. Okay, zero five. 1903.10. Okay. And now the cables. The cables would be STGZXO. Oh. 
Okay, now I can put this code in here, which would be X. Okay, X, G. I'm putting the code over here. D. T, J. Trust. Okay, this is... <laughs> Number 17 looks correct. I'll use that configuration and see if my hunch was right. X, L. Oh, this is actually spelling something out right now. C, M, H. Trust no one. Oh my god. A. Where's the Y? Y, H. But. M, V. Where's the Z? Where's the Z? Z, 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 Z. B, F, B, F. Y D N. Y D N. Trust no one but yourself. Sounds ominous. What the fuck? This anyway. Now what? Check combinations twenty nine and thirty. Okay, here we go. What the hell? Still nothing. Fuck. How convenient. Smash the table when the drawer opens up. <laughs> what? This terrible crime shocked fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> Run, bro. Get out of that fucking house. This terrible crime shocked the peaceful local community. The deputy sheriff called to the end confirmed... Uh, the man's death, John Norton, had been considered missing the last few weeks. The assailant was uh, exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed. Wow. With that? God, how long has this been here? So the guy that lit. Blood? Or just rust? This is what I think it is. More notes from Nicholas. It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost broke. What the hell? It hurts. So I'm alive. Damn it. I almost broke my neck. He took me by surprise. I wasn't prepared at all for something like this. He didn't really look human up close. When he rushed at me, I felt all of his pain suddenly seep into me. I've never experienced anything like that. His gaze, like an abused animal's, uh, the desperation in his eyes. I was so dumbstruck, I couldn't move. I wanted to scream, but I felt as if someone had ripped my vocal cords out. Who the hell is he? What was he doing in my father's bedroom? Oh, God. This is going to be horrible. Is he the one responsible for my father's disappearance? That's the guy that what they killed. In the basement? No. I'd rather not think of whose blood that was. Check your father's bedroom. Oh my god. So whatever we play as this guy is when shit really just goes bananas. So you can expect for the next episode to be a little bit more crazy. This one was actually very, 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 whether it's scary or not, I just love the story this game is telling right now. It is absolutely bananas, and I am so invested in this game right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more The Beast Inside, make sure you guys leave it a like, and uh, let me know how you feel about the game. Are you liking it so far? Uh, personally, I think it's great, and it's a job well done, and I'm excited to continue. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one.